Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me again, Gail. For today's video, guys, I will be answering your questions regarding sa NCLEX. Ito yung mga questions na usually nare-receive ko. So, kinumpile ko sila. Halos pa ulit-ulit na natatanong sa akin. So, I'll just stay tuned and I hope you enjoy. Before we start, share ko lang din. Nakuha ko na yung visa screen certificate ko yesterday. So, ayan. So, ang laman lang niya, guys, dalawang copon bond lang. O, oh, diba? As in, copon bond lang. Yung mismo certificate. At saka itong parang letter nila sa'yo na congratulations on earning your visa screen certificate. So, ayan. Hi! So, ayan. Sobrang happy lang, guys. Kasi ang tagal ko tong nasikaso, you know, madaming mga, may mga delays-delays din. If hindi nyo pa napapanood yung video ko kung paano ko ginawa yung DIY process ko din itong CGFNS visa screen, meron din ako yan. I'll just put it on the description box. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so and also click on the notification bell para makareceive kayo ng alert kapag nag-upload ako ng bagong video. So without any further ado, let's start. First question, etong kay Sir Ayohans. Ayohans, Ayohans. <laughs> I just want to clarify regarding the RLE for school records form 2F. Did you request for RLE with hours or just RLE breakdown? Actually, nung sinabi ko na ma'am, um, pa-include ako ng TOR and RLE ha, ang sinagot sa akin ng school ko, yes, kasama na lahat yon. So, alam na nila, hindi ko na actually ni-specify kung kailangan ba yung may hours, kung may breakdown. So, ako honestly guys, hindi ko alam kung ano yung sinag ng school ko. Basta, binigay ko lang sa kanila yung form and sinabi ko na this is for my NCLEX eligibility for New York. So, second question, guys, kay Ma'am Katrina Gentindatu. Um, just for clarification, did you take the coursework for child abuse and infection control prior to filling up the application form? Yes po. Sinabi ko po na inuna ko munang sagutan yung courses, yung infection control, and yung child abuse. Kasi gagawin ko na rin naman within the day yung sa application 1. Third question. I just have a question regarding Form 2F and Form 3F. Did you fill out the forms using your handwriting and did you sign it like a scribble or you just write your full name? Pinirma lang talaga. As in, yung signature lang talaga ma'am. Wala. Hindi siya yung signature over printed name. Hindi. Talagang signature ko lang talaga yung ginawa ko. Okay naman. <laughs> and from Miss Gliza Da Arol. Hi Gail, need pa ba ng TOR copies as requirements sa Form 3? PRC? No naman ma'am. Kasi nung nagpasa ko, sinabi ko rin po dun sa video, yung Form 3F lang talaga yung pinas ko sa PRC and photocopy ng PRC ID ko plus Yun yung nagbayad ako ng 200, tas doc stamps. Yun lang naman. Wala akong pin-revide na any TOR copy sa Form 3, sa PRC. Next. I actually took the courses and have passed already and I saw the certificate that Access showed me right after I passed. I just want to know, did they email you a copy of it? No, hindi po nila ako in-email ng copy noon. Um, actually, nag-print screen lang ako noon eh, just for my own copy. Or should I assume that they will be sending it to NYSCD? Any more steps to do regarding the courses? Um, wala na ma'am, basta ako ang ginawa ko lang, pinrent screen ko lang for my peace of mind. And then, sila na yung nag-send nun eh. Automatic nga sila, nag-electronically nag-send every 4 p.m. EST. Nung time ko. The next question, saan po kayo nag-review? Nag-review po ako sa Rachel Allen for a month. For roughly a month, it was around 25 days. Yung 25 days review nila for 26,000 pesos. And then, UWorld na. Inubos ko yung question bank ko sa UWorld. And yung dalawang assessment. So, yun yung review ko. Hello, Ms. Gail. May tanong saan ako. Olay, okay lang ba yung credit card na gamitin ko for online payments, etc. At ay hindi sa akin. Kasi wala akong sariling credit card. Sa parents, yung credit card gamitin ko sana. Okay lang naman po yun. Parang hindi naman nila pinakialaman kung ano yung ano, kung ano yung credit card na ginamit ko before. But credit card yung ginamit, okay naman. And you can also use um, yung ibang credit card. Okay. Next. 
Hi po, question po. Saan dapat i-print yung form? Short man, paper is okay lang ba? Or may required paper size? Wala naman po required paper size. Yung akin, pinrint ko sa A4 na size, okay naman. But wala silang in-indicate naman na paper size. Next. Ma'am, pwede din po ba ito kahit naka-work na ako sa Middle East? Need po ba employed while processing? No, you don't need to be employed while processing naman po. I'm actually not employed as a nurse. Nung nagpa-process ako nito ang NCLEX ko, hindi naman. Next, hello po regarding sa requirements po sa birth certificate. Okay lang po bang old NSO birth certificate or PSA po talaga need nila ngayon? Uh, wala akong pinasang requirement na birth certificate for NCLEX eligibility. So for New York, wala naman pong kailangan na birth certificate requirement. Wala naman. Ms. Gail, what's your advice about processing NCLEX this time of pandemic? I mean, is it okay to start processing now or wait for this year to pass, TIA? Um, ako, kahit yung CGFNS ko po talaga inagad-agad ko eh, which was a good thing kasi nakuha ko na siya ngayon even if pandemic ko din siya naasika. So, kasi yung daming cancellations. So, if I were you po, magsa-start na ako as early as possible. Kasi hindi natin din alam kung hanggang kailan tong pandemic na to. Hi, can I ask if having scoliosis can stop you from applying NCLEX or being a nurse abroad? Uh, no naman sir, okay lang naman mag-apply. I actually have scoliosis. So, it's okay naman po. Nakakapag-apply ka naman for NCLEX. Okay. Next, can you take the NCLEX exam online at Pearson View or is it live in person in Makati? Live po talaga sir, hindi pwedeng online lang, parang courses, ganyan, hindi po. Kailangan talaga pupunta ka doon, present mo yung sarili mo, and, and then doon ka mag exam in front of a computer with my proctor and all that. So, talagang exam talaga. Next, yung UWorld po ba pwede sa cellphone? Yes! Pwede po sa cellphone, pwede sa iPad, kaya very, very convenient, and kaya din highly recommended ko yung UWorld. Kasi anytime na mabakanti ka, guys, pwede po kayong magsagot ng paunti-unti kasi multiple choice naman siya sata, ganyan. So, anytime hawak mo siya. Anytime pwede kang mag-review. Next. Sis, if I fail the exam, repeat sa step 1 ba o medyo madali naman procedure if mag-repeat? Hindi ka babagsak yan, sis. Kayang-kaya mo yan. Huwag <laughs> mo isiping babagsak ka. Daanin natin sa mindset yung kaba natin, no? Uh, but, to answer your question, hindi ka repeat sa step 1. Actually, for New York, yun yung maganda kasi ang alam ko yung eligibility niya matagal. So, kunwari, you, know, you didn't make it the first time, maghihintay ka lang ng a certain number of days, like 45 days if I'm not mistaken. And then, you just have to pay again and then take an audit ng exam. So, mahaba yung eligibility period niya. Alright, next, I heard you say po na kailangan ang passport or pwede po ba any valid ID. To the best of my knowledge, guys, alam ko strictly passport lang kasi may mga nakasabay ako na wala silang passport and then they just presented their PRC, ID, driver's license, hindi po tinanggap. Pinakuha po talaga yung passport nila. So, passport na lang, guys, para sure. Next, I just want to ask if necessary ba talaga yung CGFNS? To apply for the NCLEX in New York, hindi kailangan yung CGFNS, no? Under New York. Pero if mag visa screen ka, Yes, kailangan talagang sa CGFNS. Kasi eventually, hanapin din sa inyo to if you're targeting um, yung immigration talaga. And next, for Miss Tessa, I would like to ask if what documents did you attach uploaded in Form 1? Wala po akong inattach eh. Kasi yung mga documents naman ipapadala from school and PRC, tapos yung course, yung mismong access continuing education na yung nagsisend. So, wala po akong inattach. Hi po! Ten, tanong ko lang po. Ten years na din ako graduate and ang experience ko lang sa hospital is a volunteer. Pwede bang makatake ng NCLEX? Yes. Hindi po nila tinatanong kung wala kayong experience or not. Pwede naman po. You mentioned wala ka pa CGFNS. Di ba required CVS before you can take NCLEX RN for New York? No, hindi pa required yung CVS. Um, I applied directly po sa mismong NYSED. Yan. And ang um, katanungan ng lahat. Last question question. Ask ko lang po if how much total expenses for processing up to exam and required pa ba sa New York State ng CGFNS? Okay, um, hindi po required yung sa CGFNS to apply for NCLEX sa New York. Alright, so directly lang po ako nag-NYSED. Para dun sa nitty-gritty 
details ng NCLEX application ko up to exam, um, please do watch my step-by-step -step video guys kasi mas na-breakdown ko lahat doon. But, for the total expenses, yung Form 1, nagbayad ako ng $143 na registration fee. So, kung ita times 50 mo siya, nasa 7,150 pesos. Plus, plus pa yan ha, kasi hindi naman saktong 50 pesos yung palitan sa credit card. Then, yung sa courses, guys, it's $30 each. So, $60 in total, 3,000 pesos. So, school ko, it was around 2,000 to 3,000 eh. So, sabi na natin mga 3,000 pesos. PRC, it was around 1,900 kasi yung 200 sa cashier and then 100 pesos na doc stamps and then 1,600 yung FedEx Express ko. So, total of 1,900. And then yung NCLEX Pearson View Registration ko, $200. So, 10,000 plus plus din yan, 10,000 pesos. And the schedule fee, pagkakuha ko ng ATT ko guys, it was $150. So it was around 7,500 plus pesos then. Wala pa dyan yung UWorld ko. Wala dyan yung quick result. So in total guys, mga nakagastos ako ng sa DIY ko, it's around 32,550 to 34,000. Estimated lang to guys, kasi ito yung times 50 ko lang sa dollars. So usually, hindi saktong... $143 times 50. Pero it's safe to say na mga nasa 33,000 pesos. Ganyan. 32,550 to 34,000 pesos. Ayan. So, sana nadiwanagin kayo guys. If you haven't watched the video yet, please do watch it in the description box again. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and click the notification bell. And share this to your RN friends as well. And I'll see you on my next vlog. Bye guys! Mwah.